welcome to the 2016-2017 First Tech Challenge season presented by Qualcomm. We can't wait to reveal this year's exciting new game, but before we do, we'd like to share a few messages from our incredible sponsors who make this all possible. We're also thrilled to announce that Qualcomm has increased their commitment to FIRST and has come on board this season as our presenting sponsor. Now let's take a moment to hear from all of this season's generous supporters. I'm Jenny Miller, and I'm the Senior Director of Avionics Programs at Rockwell Collins. Gracious professionalism is foundational in our goal to help get your family and friends home safely. Working with a team of engineers, we think big, take action, and help each other be successful. Making sure our team members feel valued and respected results in a quality of work that makes a difference in people's lives every day. Qualcomm has been a proud supporter of FIRST for more than 10 years. And we are so excited to continue expanding our support of FIRST Tech Challenge. Over the past two years, our engineering and product teams have worked very closely with FIRST to reimagine, develop, and improve the control system with the latest mobile technologies. Today, you have two Qualcomm Snapdragon power devices at the heart of the kit. And this year, we are thrilled to increase our commitment to the program as a presenting sponsor. At Qualcomm, we continue to be inspired by your innovative spirits, teamwork, and passion to create. We want to empower you as inventors who bring the future forward faster and solve big challenges for our world. Thank you, sponsors. Now we'd like you to turn your attention to the FIRST Scholarship and Alumni Program. Did you know that as a FIRST participant, you have access to millions of dollars in scholarships, and as an alumni, you have a network of support and exclusive internship opportunities at your fingertips. Check out how much further FIRST can take you. This is the story of invention, an idea brought to life by the stirring in someone's heart. The dreams of today are but visions of tomorrow. We are FIRST, and we are here to open doors for great minds. FIRST participants and alumni gain access to our network of hundreds of providers and millions of dollars in scholarship money, available exclusively to FIRST participants around the world. You've already taken the first step. Let us help you find out how much farther the road goes. And now a message about the founding principles of FIRST, gracious professionalism. Members of our esteemed game design committee want to tell you what gracious professionalism means to them. Being a member of a FIRST Tech Challenge team, you are faced with many choices. How do we build a robot to climb the mountain? Which wheels have the best traction? How many motors do we use? But some of the toughest decisions you will face are when you are dealing with other teams, your fellow team members, or even FIRST volunteers. When you're in those situations, Gracious professionalism encourages you to make the right choices and do the right things, even if it's not easy nor beneficial to you or your team. So to me, GP means doing the right thing regardless of whether you win or lose. Gracious professionals elevate the well-being of everybody. One word, family. How we compete for attention, how we fight and claw to become our own, how we overcome obstacles, how we help each other succeed and how we celebrate together. With all our sisters and brothers, veteran and rookie teams, 
volunteers and parents, how we work together to achieve a greater goal. We are one family. That's what gracious professionalism means to me. That's what FIRST means to me. To me, gracious professionalism expresses the understanding that we accomplish more when we work together. As individuals, we can do good. As a community, we can do great things, particularly when we couple a competitive drive to succeed with a compassionate support for our competitors. My success does not require someone else to fail. We're really excited about this game. Give it your best shot. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. We're proud to finally reveal this year's game. Velocity Vortex. A team consists of two driver operators, a coach and a robot. The robot must be built for materials specified in the game manual and fit within an 18 inch sizing cube. After the match starts, the robot may expand. Each match is played with four randomly selected teams, two per alliance. Your alliance partner for one match may be your opponent in another. The game is played on a 12 foot square playing field with a foam tile floor and one foot high walls. At opposite corners of the field are two corner vortices, red and blue. Between them is the center vortex, which can freely rotate. Four beacons are mounted on top of the field walls. Below each beacon is a unique vision pattern for navigation. A white tape stripe leads up to each beacon. The field is divided by red and blue tape stripes. The Velocity Vortex game includes particles that are 3.75 inches in diameter. There are also two cap balls 21 inch in diameter. The cap balls are placed in the center vortex assembly. Teams place their robots on the field, touching the wall in front of their alliance stations. They may preload one or two particles, up to three per alliance. Before the match, field personnel randomize the four beacons. The match begins with a 30-second autonomous period. Robots can only operate by pre-programmed instructions. If a robot presses a beacon button matching its alliance color, the alliance is awarded 30 points. Also, an additional particle will be added to the field before the driver control period begins. A cap ball in contact with the floor will earn an alliance 5 points. Each particle scored through the center vortex earns 15 points, and particles scored into corner vortices earn 5 points each. At the end of the autonomous period, if a robot is parked partially on the center vortex base or corner vortex ramp, that alliance is awarded 5 points each. If a robot can park fully on the center vortex base or corner vortex ramp, the alliance is awarded 10 points each. After the autonomous period ends, the field personnel introduce additional earned particles into the field. Then the two minute driver controlled period begins. Now each particle scored through the center vortex earns five points. Particles scored into corner vortexes earn one point each. During the driver controlled period, alliances may capture or recapture a beacon. Whichever color is lit up at the end of that match earns that alliance 10 points. The last 30 seconds of the driver controlled period is the end game. During this time, robots may lift the cap balls to earn extra points. If your robot is holding a cap ball off the playing field floor at the end of the match, your alliance is awarded 10 points. But if your robot can lift it above the center vortex crossbar, your alliance earns 20 points. And if a center vortex is capped, that alliance gets 40 points. The game manual also lists various penalties to help ensure fair gameplay. 
For example, robots may not descore a capped ball. A robot may not extend above 29 inches before the end game. A robot may not damage the playing field. A robot may not pin another robot. This has been a brief summary of the Velocity Vortex game and does not include the latest updates. Please carefully read the game manual and the game forum for the complete rules. We want you to have fun and be competitive, but please remember gracious professionalism, both on and off the playing field. Have fun and good luck this season. Go First Tech Challenge.